Good morning, YouTube. This is Miss Norma. Welcome once more to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to do uh, two. I'm going to do um, a reading for July 18th. It's going to be July 18th A, and then we're going to have July 18th B. These were two readings that, that complemented um, each other so well. So I didn't want to put too much in one reading. So I'm going to do them separate, but I'll mark them July 18th A or either one or July 18th 2. Okay, amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome once more. Welcome to our new subscribers. Welcome to those just passing through and stopping by and having a look. Amen. July the 18th, bless us and keep us, dear God. May we truly, truly, Lord, be blessed from this reading. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart truly, truly be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. And thank you, Father, for living. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Welcome, family. Free of fear. Psalm 34, verse 4 is our memory text. It says, I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me from all my fears. Amen. It says, when we think of, push this back a little bit. It says, when we think of, I'm sorry, we always think that we have a plan and that when things get crazy or situations become stressful, we will do okay and get through them. We got this. I got this. This is what I thought until COVID-19 pandemic started sweeping the world. All it took to prove that I didn't have this was, of all the things, toilet paper. I know you're thinking, is she crazy? What does toilet paper have to do with anything? And how scary could that be? That's what I thought until the morning I was picking up some prescriptions and noticed that the drugstore was out of toilet paper. Now, I had heard that people were running out in places in the country as fear of the virus spread, but I didn't think it would happen in the middle of Nebraska, where I live. My husband had no luck finding any at our local Walmart either. I figured surely the grocery store would have it. I walked quickly to that aisle only to see a wall of empty shelves where it should be. I then started to panic. What would happen next? What else would I be able to purchase? How much worse would it get? How will I make it through the end times? A panicked phone call to my husband calmed me down some. A few minutes later, he called me back to say he had found some. I realized that I need to remember who is ultimately in control of things. Amen. We need not be afraid if we put our trust and faith in him. He has promised to take care of us and take away our fears. On my drive home, I started thinking about how he cares for us. Staying connected to him will get us through anything. I need to keep myself in his word daily to strengthen my faith and my relationship with him. To strengthen my faith and relationship with him. These are the keys that will help us get through the difficult days, the trials, and yes, even times of no toilet paper. God doesn't want us to be fearful. In fact, the phrase fear not is in the Bible 365 times, one for every day of the year. God knew we would be afraid and provided a fear not for each day. That's pretty amazing and comforting to me. Amen. And me too, family. It says, no matter what we are facing, 
God will carry us through the difficulties and fears we face. We need only to hold on to him and he will deliver us out of them all. Amen. Amen. Our reading today for July the 18th um, was written by Deborah Snyder. Free of fear. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, family, for um, stopping by. Thank you for listening. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. And Abba Father, thank you, Lord, for freeing us from fear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Blessing and healing, family. I'll see you again shortly in a few moments with our reading from the little book, Jesus Calling. Um, and it reads, actually, wait a minute. I'll fix it. <laughs> Have a good day, family. I'll see you in a little bit. This is Miss Norma signing off. And just remember that I love you, but the Lord Jesus Christ loves you the best and the most. Don't forget to ask for your song, either before or after you say your prayers, be upon awakening, whatever time your day starts, whether it's at um, early morning hours, noon, late afternoon, or uh, towards the midnight. Um, when you get up and you say your prayers, ask the Lord for that song to carry you through the day. Amen. Blessing and healing. This is Miss Norma signing off. Amen. I love you, and you know who loves you the best, Jesus Christ. Amen.